In this video, I'll show you how to install XCart on your server. Before installation, make sure your server meets XCart system requirements. You can find the link to the requirements under the video. Also, before installation, you should create an empty database in your MySQL storage. If you're not sure how to do it, contact your hosting provider. Unpack the archive and upload the XCart files to your server. I'm doing it via FileZilla FTP client. Ok, it took me quite a while to upload the files via FTP. If you are doing it via cPanel or SSH, it should be much quicker. As soon as the files are uploaded to your server, it's time to run the installation script. For this purpose, open your browser and insert the installation script URL into the address bar. Usually the URL consists of your site domain name, xcart directory and ends with install.php. In case you are not sure what URL you should insert, contact your server administrator for assistance. The installation wizard has started. Read and accept the license agreement. Click Next. The email address and the password specified on this step will be used as login credentials to your XCard administrator backend. Also, when the installation is complete, you'll get a notification with some service information to this email address. Click Next. Here you should make some initial XCart settings. In most cases, the name of your MySQL server is localhost. If it is different, your hosting provider has most likely notified you about it. Enter the name of the database that you've created for your XCart 5 store. Enter your MySQL username and password. XCart will use these credentials to access the database. With Install a Sample Catalog checkbox enabled, the wizard will add sample products to your store. It will simplify the evaluation process as you won't have to lose time adding products to see how XCart works. As for Advanced MySQL and Server Settings, the fields are filled in automatically and are changed as an exceptional case. Click Next to complete the installation. It usually takes less than a minute. That's it! XCart has been successfully installed. For security purposes, the installation script has been renamed and if you decide to reinstall XCart, you'll be asked to enter this auth code. This information along with your login credentials will also be sent to you by email. Open your customer area and admin area to make sure everything works properly. Let's check the storefront first. I've selected to install the sample catalog, so there are sample products in my store. Now let's go to the admin area. Use the email address and the password you specified during the installation to log into the admin backend. The quick setup guide, right on the home page, will help you to do the first steps with XCart. You're welcome to ask any questions in our live chat and by email, support at x-cart.com. Thank you for choosing XCart for your business.